Today it has become easier than ever to go from not knowing anything into becoming a professional ethical hacker or a professional penetration tester. In this video, I'll be talking about two fairly recent courses that I've come across that in my opinion are really good. They can get you from zero background in tech into becoming an ethical hacker. And the good news is none of them require you to have any degree or any background in IT. Just be mindful, there will be a lot of hard work, but the payoff is there. Being a penetration tester or a professional ethical hacker is a very sought after career that comes with uh, good uh, salaries, it comes with remote working opportunities, and there is so much demand for, for people with good penetration testing skills. If you're new here, you can call me Unix Guy. I'm a cybersecurity executive with over two decades of experience. And when I was coming up in my career, I didn't have any mentors, so I decided to create this YouTube channel to be the mentor that I've never had, so you can avoid making the mistakes that I made. So a little bit of story. Uh, the reason why I worked in cybersecurity was because I really wanted wanted to be a penetration tester. My dream was to become a professional hacker. I talked about this in previous videos. Um, I was really influenced by Kevin Mitnick's and all his exploits and I watched movies about him, I watched interviews, I read so much text and I enrolled in university to study computer engineering because that was the degree that was available to me at the time. However, there was really no courses that teaches you how to become an ethical hacker. There was literally nothing. In the good old days, I had to join um, hacking forums that some of them don't, don't exist anymore and the only text that was available to me was the OG website frack.org. Yes, frack.org. It's a very very old website, probably one of the first published website that hackers have actually published some papers and it was really difficult to read. I was 17 years old. I knew nothing about technology. Um, honestly, I knew nothing about anything. So reading and deciphering what was written in frack.org, which is a hacking magazine, was really really challenging. But the fun thing is uh, Fast forward to the end, to the last year of my computer engineering degree, my graduation project was about buffer overflow attacks, and I used an article which became a research paper called Smashing the Stack for Fun and Profit, and that was my uh, graduation project. It was far from being practical. It was nothing like what you guys see today, which is really easy with nice tools, but it was a good proof of concept and I learned a lot. Now, the good news is today there are so many good training courses and good training material that can literally take you from your first step onto what hacking is all the way into breaking into mobile applications, breaking into companies and breaking into something like Active Directory and conduct really sophisticated red teamings. Um, I've got a previous video where I talked about what certifications I recommend and that video is valid. I'll talk about it a little bit more towards the end of this video but I've actually recently come across a really nice surprise. You see I'm not a penetration tester at the moment. Um, I do consulting and senior management uh, so I'm not really in the know with the technical details of penetration testing. However, one of my really good friends, he is an absolute gun when it comes to penetration testing. I've seen him destroy people. I've seen him break into environment. I've seen him really break into really solid applications. So to my surprise, I saw him talking about uh, a course by a fellow YouTuber called The Cyber Mentor. So The, uh, the Cyber Mentor is one of the successful, I guess, YouTuber uh, that talks about cybersecurity. He is a penetration testing professional. Just a disclaimer, I haven't actually watched any of his videos. However, he has recently created, recently or maybe it's been a while, I just haven't heard about it. He's created something he called the Cyber Mentor Academy, which is really a group collection of training courses, mainly geared toward penetration testing. But to my surprise, I even saw some forensics and some introductory training courses. Uh, he priced them at a very competitive price. I think at one point he just released it for $1. And even looking at the prices now, I think it's like 20 bucks or 30 bucks, something really, really cheap, guys. And it really takes you from the absolute basics all the way to the advanced stuff. So there you go. You have an absolutely great opportunity here to put your head down, study and get the job of your dreams. So let's just have a look at the website together. So TCM security is really the cyber mentor security. Clicking on all courses. Um, you can see he's got one-on-one -on -one coaching, but the good news is, yeah, this is the course. It's the practical ethical hacking, the complete course. He's got specialized course for Windows privilege escalation for beginners. You see Windows privilege escalation is not really a beginner topic, but here uh, he created a beginner friendly course for it. L same one for Linux. Uh, he's got OSINT course. He's got playbooks. Really, he covered pretty much 
everything. He's got Python for hackers. He's got Linux 101, which is really good. I mean, this is an excellent library, of course. He's even got GRC courses. Again, look, I can't talk about the quality of the courses that are not penetration testing because the scrimmer, I haven't actually done any of these courses. But my good friend who has done the penetration testing courses said that the quality is top notch and he strongly recommended it, especially for beginners. Um, so let's just click on his um, practical ethics and hacking, the complete course. I think this is his flagship course. And yeah, look, it says you don't need any prior hacking knowledge at all, which is really good news. And, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit more towards the end. But as you see, it really teaches you pretty much everything, like from Linux to Python. So it, if you have no experience with Linux, if you have no experience with Python, if you're a little bit intimidated by these topics, this course will actually teach, teach you all the background you need. So before you type comments and tell me, can, should I do CCNA? Should I do Linux Plus? Should I do, well, don't do anything. Just do this course. Do not waste your time. And if you really want to become an ethical hacker, you really need to learn how to Google things and look them up for yourself. So you don't need to do 10,000 certifications before you start. Start, and if you get stuck, if there's something you don't understand, this is part of being a penetration tester. It's problem solving. So yeah, go check out the Cyber Mentor Academy. Really, really recommend it. Uh, I'm really amazed by the prices. I've also looked up some reviews online, but I really trust my friend. He, um, he has, he just, honestly, I think he did it for fun. He's very experienced. Uh, he just loved penetration testing, which is why I was curious to ask him about this course. Now, the second course that I come across that I think some of you may be familiar with it's called try hack me try hack me I think it's a platform where you get to practice my understanding of the platform was that it's a platform where you can practice penetration testing you can just get your hands on but to my surprise I found even some entry-level courses so let's have a look together so it has a course called red teaming that's a fairly advanced topic red teaming is about breaking into active directory and just simulating a real attack it's a little bit more advanced not beginner but they have an introduction to cybersecurity course they have um, a junior penetration testing course they've got they've got cyber defense they even got some SOC analyst course and a beginner course so look what I'm trying to say here this is another great resource at your disposal um, there is no shortage of good courses the courses that I've just recommended are all top notches I've asked my colleagues who are penetration testers and they all vetted these courses so now you've got two recommendations cyber mentor you've got try hack me you also have the courses that I recommend on my previous video which I'll put a link for it at the end of this video and I'll talk a little bit about it so the question is which course should you do which which course is the best? The answer is it doesn't matter. The knowledge is out there. The hacking knowledge is the hacking knowledge. The facts are the facts. You choose what's best for you. You choose the one that you like more. You choose the one that you afford more. Whichever course you choose, there is one fact that remains. You actually have to work hard. You want to become a penetration tester? Be prepared to spend the next six to 18 months doing nothing but learning penetration testing. If you're serious about this, you got to study. You have to prove to yourself that you actually can do this you also have to prove to employers that you know what you're doing so once you do all of these courses that come with certifications and badges and things that you can show you'll at least get an interview out of this you will at least have a conversation with someone instead of going to a penetration tester and telling them I want to be a hacker what should I do this way you go to them and you by the way for the last year and a half I've spent this time I've done all these courses I've got these skills I know how to attack active directory I know how to do web application penetration test I'm familiar with the attacks I've passed my OSCP for example so this is how you become a penetration tester this is how you work hard and you prove yourself and these courses are so so good I wish I had access to the courses like these I would have loved nothing more than having access to courses like this in fact I think my career would have looked a lot different if I had such access so in this um, in the previous video which I will put a link for it below here I talked about doing uh, certifications from Elan security offensive security those are also still valid paths so if you don't want to do the cyber mentor or try hack me you can do these courses as well all of them are good they all talk about the same topics pick the one that you want just a word of advice offensive security or SCP is still the most widely recognized one however if you do any of those four courses that I recommended people who are working in penetration testing they will recognize them the skill is still the skill so have fun enjoy it let me know what you think in the comment section below and if you want to look at um, the recommendations that I talked about before this is the video right here